Hello family and friends. Project number two for the day. We're going to replace our RV toilet. One that came with the camper, a little foot pedal keeps falling off, so I'm buying a taller one. The taller was two kinds you two kinds you can get. It's elongated when the other one wasn't. It's not porcelain, but it's ceramic. The water comes out more than one spot to help clean the bowl. So multiple reasons to do this upgrade. It didn't cost that much and uh, some of the YouTube videos I watch shouldn't take that long to do. But first, we're gonna use our little handy dandy sprayer. Should be good. If you're familiar with these new, you just stick them down in the, the black tank and they turn. Very fast. It's another way of cleaning out your sensors and stuff. Okay, let's go. Keep going until it's completely clear coming out of the black tank and the sewer hose. Third step is to disconnect your water line into the toilet. Pull it out. Fourth step will be to take these nuts off so we can lift the toilet out of there. It's to turn off your water at the source so that when you do the third step and turn it off inside, you don't leak everywhere. Okay, so that's a 13 millimeter. Did get the water disconnected and it did leak a tiny bit. I think she can lift it straight up. My God, looks like she did. Sawdust. Yeah, they didn't clean up very good, did they? Yeah, way to go, Crossroads. Love your Dinger brand trailers, look at that. Oh, jeez. I can't even cut the hole right. Make sure you have a second person that can help you line those up through the holes. Now we had wanted to turn it sideways, but that flange didn't come out. It's like it was glued in, as well as screwed in. So I didn't want to break anything, so we're going to stay this way. But it is a little bit longer toilet, so that's good. Tightening these back up now, so what's that step? If I was placing it in there, this would have to be six. I don't think this Seven will be hooking water back up. Eight will be turning the water on at the source. And then nine will be mounting the sprayer somewhere. FYI for the Dometic series, uh, screws and the nuts they provide are not 14 millimeter. 13. 13 millimeter. They are 11. Her series face is on. Uh -huh. so my, my series face looks like I'm mad too, but I'm not. <laughs> okay, so I told you we originally wanted to turn it. The other direction and the water line would have reached but putting it back in the same position we were short about an inch fortunately my son-in-law is a plumber as, as well as a rancher <laughs> and uh, he came over here and fixed this for us it looks like she works it takes a second for all the stuff to it takes a second for the water to come around the front but that's all right yeah it runs pretty good okay so again. and it holds water so it seals good now, I believe if I remember right when I ordered this, this is actually a real wood seat. Yeah, wood, not plastic. All right. My feet still touch the ground, so. All right, I think this project's done. Uh -huh. Give me some privacy. Oh my gosh. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> So this, so that's going to conclude this video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like this video, you can let us know by dropping us that thumbs up down below If while you're down there. And if you have not already, be sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications. That way you will never miss an upload. Comment down below. Tell us what you thought. Share with all your friends because you never know what they might find handy from us. On that note, thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll see you in the next video. Toodles. Bye. Love you guys. Safe travels.